Wouldn't it be amazing to know that the divine has heard your prayer, that it has been hand delivered, it has been received, it has been logged, and not only has it been listened to, but it's being responded to even right now, even right as you watch this video, the angels and the energy is moving on your behalf. Do you believe it? Friend, I want to share a sign with you today. But if you resonate with this sign, put your seatbelt on, my friend. Things are about to get real. Come on, let's kick into it. Hello, you gorgeous heavenly soul. Welcome to Elevate. I'm Ben, and I'm here every day talking about your very finest hour, moving forward into all of your dreams, living your best life, spirituality, mind science, life coaching, things I learned studying for a degree. Friend, it's all here. In fact, there's nearly 1,200 videos on this channel right now. So when we're finished here, why don't you have a look, see what's there. I know you will find something amongst the playlist that is going to speak to you, that will meet you right where you're at. Also, make sure you reach out, say hi, tell me where you're from, let's connect our energy. And if it's your first time here, or you are one of the maybe 50% of people who view these videos but haven't yet subscribed, what the heck are you doing? Go press the button. It'll take you a second, but let's join our energy together. We love you. We're thankful for you. Now, friend, I want to share a sign with you today, something that's a little bit esoteric, a little bit left field, and it's going to take a moment of introspection on your behalf to find the awareness and evidence of this in your own journey. But if you do, you can be assured that this is your time. You can be assured that the divine is moving on your behalf, moving and making the crooked places straight, making a way where there is no way, shining a light and guiding you through the darkest of dark nights of the soul. Friend, your past doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you've been through. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter the things that have been said to you that have hurt you so much. The things spoken over your life, those who have told you, you're not good enough, you're not worth it, that'll never happen. The people who have judged you, none of it matters. Shake it off. Because you, my friend, you are a divine being. You are a spirit who's having the experience of a human and part of that experience is the fulfillment of your dream. And do you want to know the greatest sign that the universe, that the divine ever gives to you that where you are going is part of your journey? That the impression you feel is the right impression, that the dream you see in your heart is the dream for you and you shouldn't doubt it. See, I've been at this a long time, friend. And I've seen it happen so many times. People start doubting the dream in their heart. They don't make progress. They feel like it's not manifesting. Maybe the dream is just super huge. Maybe you want to be a president or a prime minister. Maybe, maybe you want to be the person, the catalyst that ends poverty globally. Maybe you have a dream inside of your heart to be the next Elon Musk, or Jeff Bezos. Maybe there's a dream inside of your heart to start your own family, but there are concerns around fertility. And it looks like, according to the doctor's report at least, your dream is never going to happen. Friend, hold on tight. The more impossible the dream seems, the more the divine says, I'm possible. Did you get that? The more impossible your dream seems to you, the more impossible that dream seems to everybody who looks on and spectates from the sides, the more impossible it seems, the more the divine shines life-giving light upon it and says, I'm possible. It doesn't say I'm definite. It doesn't say I'm absolute. It says I'm possible. That means, friend, you were born with a purpose, a destiny, and a promise. And you know it's the dream in your heart. You can fulfill it, and you can live throughout seasons of your life in the manifested glory of that blessing, or you can never quite get there. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
And sadly, there are so many people in life who never quite get there. Do you want to know why? Well, they get caught up in the cycles of life. They get stuck in the routines and the white noise and the rumoring and the gossiping and the arrogance and the ignorance and the ego and the pride and the materialism and the I've got to have this and I've got to one-up those and beating the Joneses and spending money people don't have on things they don't need to impress people they don't even like. We try to fill this void on the inside of us with more stuff with more things, with more prestige, with more relationships, with more busyness, with more work. When all the while the vacuum that is calling and calling and calling is a God-shaped hole and it is the shape of the dream that you have called impossible. Doesn't matter what it is. You may be infertile and dream of having a baby. Don't stop praying for it. You may have a baby who's all grown up and has fallen off the tracks. Don't stop praying. You may have a dream to have a business empire the world over that makes a difference in industry and you're on the verge of bankruptcy. Don't stop praying. Friend, that dream that seems impossible, that is the very proof of the divine with you. If you could accomplish that dream, What point would there in being a God to guide you? If you could do it all on your own, if you could get the millions, if you could get the man or the woman and the children and the family and the life and the career and the healing and the restoration and the jet set lifestyle and the insurance claim and the business problems sorted out, if you get favor in every single one of these things and you can do it on your own, then you don't need any help from God. What are you even looking at this video for? Go and do it. But you've heard me tell you that if you want to build an empire on your own shoulders, you better make darn sure you've got strong shoulders. Ask me how I know. The dream in your heart that seems impossible is the very promise and the guarantee from the divine that you are in the process of manifesting that. Where you are is the training ground for that experience. So how do you get through a training session? You learn. That's all we are supposed to do. We are not supposed to go around the mountain. We are not supposed to live amidst the same dysfunction day in, day out, week in, week out. We are not supposed to live with the same hurt in our heart, the same noise inside of our mind. We are not supposed to live with all of this going crazy. We are supposed to live in peace and carry that peace with us. That doesn't mean our life is absent from problems. It means there is greater value that we carry with us through the problem. Friend, the dream inside of your heart that seems impossible is the promise from the divine that not only will you manifest that dream if you keep moving forward, but that you will see the unfolding and surpassing favor of God in the midst of the process. Now, I love you. I'm thankful for you. I hope this encouraged you. If it did, share it with someone. Make sure that you subscribe, friend. Leave me a comment. Go check these two videos out as well. Make sure you come and see me tomorrow. God bless you.